What's up guys? It is Yosemite National Park Day and today we are gonna go check out the Mariposa Grove which is the largest sequoia grove in Yosemite National Park. It has hundreds of giant sequoias. We've never seen them before. We are super excited. I've practically been waiting my entire life to see the sequoias. Yeah. You want to know what I read this morning? What? It has two of the largest of the top 30 giant sequoias in the world. Really? So we're going to go see two of what some of the biggest giant trees in the entire whole wide go world. Go big or go home. That's going to be sweet. So we're going to go on a hike. I found it on all trails and I, I was just searching what to do in Yosemite. And it is a very easy hike. I think it's like three miles. It's not a difficult one, but there's no way you can pass up not seeing these giant trees, especially if you've never seen them before. So we are super stoked about that. I am so excited. I've been to California multiple times in my life, like multiple, 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 and I've never made it north. And I've always wanted to see the sequoias and the redwoods. And here we are. Today's the day. Yeah, it's a huge state. It takes a long time to like cover the whole thing. And that's what we actually fell in love with California um, just because of the oceans, the deserts, the mountains, and like everything that it has in between. There's there. a lot of reasons. There is. And there's also a lot of reasons to not like California. You know, <laughs> prices and taxes and people, people, and just there's a ton of reasons, but it's such a beautiful state. So uh, we're excited to be visiting here. We're excited to be in California. It's a little chilly today. It was like 40 degrees overnight. We're at Yosemite uh, Lakes Thousand Trails RV Park, which is five miles from the Yosemite National Park entrance, and it's like an hour and a half to these uh, to the Mariposa. Um, Grove. So we're going to head to this hike and we're going to bring you along. So let's go. Looks like everybody's here to see the giant sequoias. <laughs> this is packed. Yeah. And it appears that the road is closed and you can only take a bus up there. Or take a shuttle. Yeah, a shuttle bus. So I don't know what's going on. We're gonna stop and have lunch and I guess we're taking the shuttle. Wasabi. You ready to go? Yes. We're in the parking lot. We're about ready to get on the shuttle to go up to see the giant sequoias. It's uh, like a two mile walk or hike up there you can do, or you can take the shuttle like we're gonna do, which comes every 10 minutes. Aaron's actually taking a shuttle, yeah. Cause it's free. <laughs> but no, there is uh, a bunch of hiking you can do up here, uh, up to like six and a half miles um, or more actually, if you include this little two mile hike at the bottom at the base here, you could go up to eight and a half miles. So pretty cool. We're going to go check it out and anything else? I'm wearing my fancy hat. Yep. We're ready to go. Well, we're at the beginning of it. There's some of the giants behind us, but to go see the real ones, we got to go for a hike. This park was protected in 1864 by President Lincoln during the Civil War. 1864. That's a long time ago. 
yeah, they've been protecting these trees for a long time because they started to like chop them down as there was, you know, the big, um, I don't know, lumber craze and they were building everything. Mm. So, but we, yeah, we read these trees were like up to 2000 years old and up to 25 feet thick in their trunks. So, I mean, that's a big one. I know you've always heard about these trees. You've, you've seen pictures of them, but, uh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. And I don't know. It's getting late in the afternoon, so we got to get hiking. Let's go. All right. So we'll show you at the first big tree, which I think is called the grizzly, uh, the big grizzly something. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to look at the map real quick. Yep, the grizzly giant. That looks like the biggest one, I think. Ready? Feeling grizzly. These things are so big. It's almost kind of sad to see these fallen ones. I know. Imagine how old that tree was. I wonder how long it's been down for. Well, what do you think so far? It's amazing. <laughs> Bucket list <Whoa>. checked. <laughs> They're just so big, like it's really hard to capture it on video or like our picture. Just you can't you can't get the whole tree in. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. And they're they just they truly seem like indestructible. Like they've just stood the test of time. Yeah. It's weird that they're such like an old ancient descendant line of trees that are just giant and so, there's only a few surviving yeah the grizzly tree that has survived numerous fires it says every five to 20 years there's fires in here and that's why the base is all black but that grizzly giant is the same size as statue of liberty yeah absolutely massive it's not very tall but it's like super 28 feet yeah, in diameter big and girthy Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to keep hiking around and seeing what other kind of giant trees we can see. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to touch them. Just hug it. Pretend like you're hugging it. I can feel my heart combining with the tree. It's like 
pineapples. <laughs> they do look like pineapples. <gasps> They're like pineapples. These trees house thousands of pine cones per tree. Thousands. I don't even see them like on know, the trees. They're, they're so, so tall. big up in there. I've never seen a pine cone so massive. Will you take my picture? Here we are behind the clothespin tree, which looks like the fire carved that thing out and it's still flourishing strong. Yes. But we were corrected about the pine cones. This is a sugar pine. Sugar sap? Sugar pine. Sugar pine. This is a sequ <laughs> <laughs> This is a sugar pine. This is a sequoia pine. This is the one that are in the sequoias where there's thousands, which makes sense. This <laughs> is in the sugar pine tree. And it's fun to walk by a sugar pine tree and you see them all over the ground and big difference. So when we were standing and mesmerized by these sugar pines, a nice local couple walked by and filled this in on the situation. So now we're fully educated. They're both interesting pines. Yeah, I've never seen this before. You can see it's, it's like hard. It's really a, um, hefty in weight. It's solid. That's what you call a solid pine cone. Well, that was a blast. I have to say that was absolutely fun. It was awesome. So when I was in there, Okay, this this national park was special for me because, as I mentioned, it's always been on my bucket list, and it's always just been something that I've dreamed of doing, so it was really cool to finally do it. It felt like a million dark secrets in there, because like, when you're in there with those old trees, you just feel like you've been in there for thousands of years and like, it's there's not thousands of years of secrets in that forest well and it's not like just one tree or two trees or there's like nine giant trees but really there's like hundreds of them mm -hmm. in there mm -hmm. and so it's like a big grove of them that's why they call it the mariposa grove yeah but it makes it definitely feel like an old ancient forest it's you know on top of a mountain and it's pretty cool it was really fun too because like because there were so there was those nine highlighted trees and it made it really interesting to take the loops around because then you're like excited for that next little like oh here's the clothespin tree and yeah. then you get up to it and it it literally looks like a clothespin so it's cool then like on the next one where it's like i don't know what the orders were but like there's the faithful couple and then you get these names in your head and you try to picture like, oh, I wonder what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it was like a half mile or so from like each destination. So it was a good little yeah. jaunt in between and it's good elevation. So it's like a good, good yeah. little hike. We had a the perfect combination of sun, crisp, cool autumn air. The leaves are turning. Um, it was warm. Like the weather was so pleasant. It was perfect hoodie weather. With, Wasn't busy. With sunshine warming our backs. It's like the end of October, so it's off tour season. They close this as soon as it snows. And we didn't even, we didn't walk the whole thing um, because we want to, we just didn't want to be out driving when it was dark again. But we still got like five miles in. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's decent, decent, uh, decent little hike. So we should have gotten out earlier, but yep. Story of our lives. Story of our lives. Yep. <laughs> so anything else? No. That's about it. That's about it. Well, we hope you guys liked that little glimpse of the Mariposa Sequoia giant grove that we just walked through. And we're going to try to get to see some more of Yosemite while we're here for the next four days. Um, but if not, 
Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. To stay tuned every week. And we'll catch you next time. See you next time.